Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few weeks ago, I was scrolling on Instagram, double tapping cute pictures of babies, and I come across a post by Calvin Harris. He's one of my favorite musical artists, and it stopped me in my tracks, and it said this. 500 million plastic straws are used every day in the USA. So just let that sink in. 500 million a day. Straws are too small to be easily recycled. They don't degrade, they photodegrade into smaller and smaller pieces, which are ingested by marine life. When they ingest plastic, marine life has a 50% mortality rate. Just reading that one post hit me so hard. I had no idea what a huge problem that was. I have not used a plastic straw since. And it got me thinking about the things that I'm doing in my own life that may be wasteful, that may be negatively impacting the environment, and it made me want to start making changes in my life. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. There are so many different things that we could be doing to reduce waste, but instead of overwhelming you, I thought that maybe what I would do today is just share with you guys the things that I am personally committing to doing. These are all very easy changes that we could be making in our day-to-day -day lives that will not only help the environment, but the bonus of all of this is a lot of these habits are gonna end up saving you money. So with all that said, let's jump into it, starting with plastic straws, because that is what started this whole thing. In general, it's best to avoid using straws. The reason is that they lead to wrinkles around your mouth area, and those are some of the most difficult wrinkles to get rid of. And the leading causes for mouth area wrinkles are smoking cigarettes and drinking out of straws. So the first thing you could do is avoid straw usage, but if you do wanna use a straw for something, they make silicone straws, metal straws that are reusable and they come with little brushes so you can easily clean them out. They even have collapsible straws so you can keep them folded up in your purse and have them with you on the go. Next are using reusable bags, not just at the grocery store, but anytime you're out shopping. And the way that I've adopted this habit that's made it really easy is I found these reusable shopping bags that fold into themselves really small. So they take up minimal space. I keep them in every purse. I keep extra ones in my car. So I always have them with me. I think that's a thing with reusable bags. A lot of times we tend to forget or they're big and bulky. So we don't have them with us. The next thing are drinks. So about two years ago, we got a water filtration system installed in our house. We have the Aquasana triple reverse osmosis water filtration system. I really like that system, but anything you could find, they have Brita filters, they have compact portable ones. So filter your own water at home and use a reusable water bottle. Not only is there the environmental impact of using all the bottles, but it is not cost effective whatsoever. I use my Yeti cup, and the reason I like this particular cup is it keeps whatever is inside hot or cold for like 24 hours, but this cup is dishwasher safe, so it just makes it really easy to clean. To take it one step further, something that I recently started doing is if I am at Starbucks or getting a coffee or drink out, I'll bring my own cup and have them fill it up. This for me is the biggest one that's made an impact in our household in terms of saving money. And that is switching from using paper towels to a dish cloth system. So I found a bunch of dish rags at Target. They were like 50 cents each. I got a little plastic bin. I put it by the sink area. I need to clean up something, wipe up something. I'll use these dish rags. And then I have a hamper also in the kitchen right near the sink that I'll throw them in every like two to three days. I'll just run a load. I find by cooking and eating more fresh whole foods, you end up using a lot less packaging because produce, fruits, and vegetables, they're not coming wrapped up in a ton of plastic and packaging. And I even got these reusable produce bags that I keep with me. So when I'm picking out my fruits and vegetables, I put them in a bag that I can reuse. I think everybody deals with junk mail. It is such a waste on so many levels. And I found out that there is a website you can go to to take yourself off of some junk mail mailing list that you can remove yourself from and save yourself from getting junk mail. Another thing related to paper products is you can purchase tree-free toilet paper. It has less of an environmental impact. And as someone who's a toilet paper snob, I am fine making the switch. Is it quite as plush as like a Charmin triple ply? No, but does it work? Does it do the job? Yes. This next one is huge and I was inspired by a mom friend of mine who lives in my neighborhood and she buys almost everything secondhand. So by shopping secondhand for stores, consignment stores, you're saving money on the environmental impact of making new products, 
the packaging that it comes in, you're usually getting it at a fraction of the cost. And most of Carter's clothes now that he wears are secondhand clothing. And a lot of them are designer baby clothes that I'm paying like one or $2 per item. So I think we all enjoy a good takeout meal every once in a while. But what happens with takeout food is it's not just the container it comes in. There's a plastic bag, then they put all of the plastic silverware and napkins and everything else in the bag with it. And it just becomes so wasteful. And you may or may not know this, but you can't actually recycle takeout food boxes because the grease and the food leftover residue makes it not recyclable. I never knew that until doing research for this video. So what they recommend doing and I'm gonna start doing is when you go and order takeout food, ask for just the food. So not the bag, not the utensils, not all the other stuff, but just the box of food so you are minimizing your impact. Plastic cutlery is another big offender in terms of waste products that are found most often in the ocean. So one thing you can do is have an extra set of cutlery at your desk at work, in your car. So if you are eating takeout and you need a fork or a spoon, you have it there and you can wash and reuse them. So apparently there's a huge issue now with the coffee pods. They are very difficult to recycle. You can actually buy on Amazon refillable, reusable K-cups for different models of whatever system you have. Another big offender in our household is saran wrap. We always have leftover food that we wanna save for the next day. We use the saran wrap without even thinking about it. So I found on Amazon that they have reusable saran wrap. Better yet, just put it in a Tupperware container. All right, so we're gonna stop here for today. Again, the point here is to kind of start small, start basic, very easy things that we can do. You've probably heard a lot of these before, but I think it is great to have a reminder and a refresh. For me, these are the things that I'm committing to now and I would love to build on it in the future. So I would love nothing more. Leave it down in the comments what you'll commit to doing or maybe some of these things you already do and let me know some other ideas because we are really just hitting the tip of the iceberg. So anyway, with all that said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this video. This is one of those videos that I think needs to be shared and more people need to be talking about. So with all that said, thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Hey guys, Ryan here. So my tip for reducing waste is to eat your banana whole. Mmm. Oh, one can really taste the ripeness. The peel is getting in between my teeth. I hear it's good for the gums. By eating the peel, there's zero trash. I'm doing my part. <laughs>